Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. It's been a while since I had a topic like this. So today, we're gonna talk about matrix. Basic matrix, practical part. So of course, I'm gonna go talk a little bit about the theory, but most practical. Do you believe me? If you look at these two images, they have the same resolution, but the parameters are totally different. One of them, matrix. Let's dive into this topic. Tune in and I will show you. For those who've been to my channel before, thanks for coming back. And for those who knew, my name is back again. I'm an Amari with Aquasword. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amari topics, tutorials just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. Since I started YouTube, there are now a lot of videos out there. So check out the playlist and check out the different topics if you haven't done so. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's been a while since I have a topic like this. So I felt like this is some time to have a, a basic topic again, right? So we're going to talk about matrix. Matrix alone doesn't mean much, okay? You can talk about 500 ton matrix. That was back in the days. Nowadays, you can even go further up. If we are talking about matrix, we also usually mean resolution, right? So I want to have a high matrix. You won't automatically have a high resolution because if you talk about matrix, you need to also take account of the field of view. Why so? Because if you take the field of view divided by the matrix frequency, field of view divided by the phase matrix, you will get the pixel size. With this pixel size, you will then know the resolution. So uh, I'm going to show you it on a scan today. In the beginning of the video, I showed you the images, what I did, and why the resolution is almost the same, but the parameters is different. So without further ado, let's go to the scan and I'll show you. All right, we are currently at the Magnetum 3T, but it doesn't matter. This is the same or 1.5 3T across the vendors. And uh, I'm using XA50 software here. Again, this matter. Matrix, this matrix is basic across the vendors. So we're going to do a simple scan here today, which is easy for me to show you what I mean. So in front of you here, we have a knee. So we're going to do two scans. And we're going to have different matrix, different field of view. But in the end, the resolution will be more or less the same. So let's check this out. We're going to have a routine knee here. This is 150 field of view. And the base resolution here. So you can see the acquisition pixels here are 150 divided by 320. It's the same here, both for phase encoding and the frequency. So what comes first, what comes last? This is handed on different vendors for Siemens. Phase first, frequency later. And then you have the slice thickness of three. Okay, field of view divided by the base resolution. You will get the pixels. And then we're gonna do a scan right here now. Like that, just gonna position the knee. Okay, we're gonna do another scan here, which I'm gonna have a different base resolution. Okay, 512, like I mentioned, that's wow, 512, very high base resolution. But in the end, it doesn't mean anything. Let me show you. So we have 512. Now it's very high resolution, 150 divided by 512. That's 0 0.1, so that's a very high resolution. But Let's check this. If I increase the field of view 250, now if you take 250 divided by 512, check now. Suddenly you are 0 0.49. 260, 51, no, 240. Let's check now. Exactly the same, 0 0.47. Exactly the same as the previous uh, scan. But what happens now? The field of view is extremely large. You don't need a large field of view for for a knee like that, but this is just the basic. What I mean by having a base resolution doesn't mean anything. You know the field of view. You need to know the field of view. So whenever we are talking about a high resolution, you cannot only mention the base resolution. You also have to talk about the field of view to get the real pixel values. So this is a big field of view right here. Now we're gonna see the result and see how it is. All right. So we did scan our PD to with micro fat cell, right? So as you can see here. I started with the field of view 150 with a matrix of 320. I divided 150 to 320, got 0 0.46. Over here on the second scan, I did scan 240 field of view divided by 512. We get the same resolution, but the, the outcome of the images are totally different. You don't want to scan a knee like this, it's a very large field of view. Rather, a knee like this, very dedicated, 
But if you zoom in, the resolution should be more or less the same. Okay, you understand now the, the matrix doesn't matter if you don't know the field of view. With the field of view, you get the pixel values. There's another scan here, it's the T12 with Spaneco. Over here, 150 field of view. Matrix is 400. So 150 divided by 400 is 0 0.37. Over here, increase the field of view to 190 divided by 512 is the same. So whenever you have a sequence ready for you there and you sometimes you need to increase the field of view, but also whenever you increase the field of view, try to solve up with the matrix because you would try to have the same resolution as the one you started with, but now you want to cover more. Okay, just like this one. If you have some the interest or area of interest up in here, you increase the field of view, but also your matrix have to be followed to have the same resolution as the, the one you started with. So again, field of view matrix gives you pixel values. That's important. But when then we are talking about high resolution, low resolution. So this is not bad resolution for MSK, 0.37. But you have to remember that whenever we talk about high resolution, it's very different from uh, organs. So MSK, shoulder, hand, wrist, uh, knee, foot, ankle. High resolution is around this. But there are different criteria, of course, remember that. But if you have a pixel size of 1 millimeter times 1 millimeter, that's a very low resolution for MSK imaging. But for abdominal imaging, that's a very high resolution because it's more like the breath hole. You cannot have images like this and do breath hole because it would take too long. We get a lot of noise, just like this one. You see here, you have a very high resolution in this there, but there's a lot of noise. So it doesn't matter. You need to have other parameters in place as well such as SNR is important. So remember that it's not only about the field of view and the matrix, it's the whole package. What I'm talking about here is just a small amount of the whole sequence. Remember that. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. I know matrix is a difficult topic, but it's very important for the daily work. And uh, it's important to have a better understanding regarding this. So it's nothing better to show it in the practical part like I did today. So I hope you get something out of it. Before we close up, I just want to ask you a question. Matrix, is this something you think about whenever you do an optimizing of a sequence? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell so we get a ding ding the next time I post a new video. So until next time, take care and I will catch up with you. Peace out.